guys, welcome back to another Caleb's Aquatics video. Today we are actually, we're tearing down this 29 gallon tank right below down there. And we're going to redo it, clean it all up, and we're actually getting some red eared sliders, guys. We're rescuing those guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this thing cleaned up, and let's get started with the video. Alright, you guys can see all we have is a sponge, a little a little um, terracotta pot in there. But I'm going to go ahead and start draining this down. Once it's drained down, I'm going to go ahead and take the stuff out. Um, and then I'm going to take this outside, as you guys will see, take it outside and rinse it down with the hose and get it all cleaned up. So let's go ahead and start draining. <laughs> As you guys can see, um, this tank here is all empty. All the stuff is out. You can see the little things on the towel here. And the sponge is in some water, so it's not going to lose any bacteria. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this tank out here, bring it outside, and get it start getting it cleaned up. Alright, the tank is completely clean. I actually brought it outside to get it all clean and I also added on a background background on there. It's a background I had for a 29 gallon tank. So I just go ahead and put that on there. I did some touch ups to the paint on there. Got everything done, organized some cables over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that put that over there back in the spot and then get it set up. the tank is in um, I'm gonna move that shim all over a little bit um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the substrate and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use sand yet or river rock so I'm gonna just go ahead and let's get stuff going see the tank is all done it's in there level everything to go I decided I'm not gonna you put any substrate in here this is just a grow out I'm um, not really even a grow out, just a quarantine almost until I have room to put it in a 55 or 75 or something like that for these turtles but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up just a little bit so the sponge can be able to um, go in there um, and then it will be be ready to go pick up the turtle and we'll be the water is filling up. I'm just going to fill it up to about here. I don't know how far I need to be able to fill this tank up anyways. So I'm just going to fill up at a rough estimate. And then once I get the basking area in there, I can get to the exact level. Just deep enough so I can put the sponge in there to kind of get it um, running. But other than that, we'll be set to go and be ready to pick up the turtles, the basking area, the light, and all that stuff. Alright guys, we're about to go head over to the house, pick up the turtles, all the supplies we need. This is how the tank's looking, all looking good. We're gonna go head over there, so let's head over there. So you can see we have the turtles in the car here. They're pretty big turtles, they're pretty cool looking. We're gonna go ahead and bring these guys home and get them inside their tank. All right, we are home here. The turtles, the turtles are right there. You can see all these things right here. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. We have this little decoration piece, some turtle food, the little rock area, um, the filter, um, a little heater thing, and a light. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all kind of set up in there. Um, and let's get the things going. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to set up the light. Um, we're probably, I don't know where exactly we're going to put the light here. I'm going to get this here. Um, I don't know why this stuff is wet, but it is. Okay, let's plug this light in right here. Um, we'll get this thing plugged in down here. There we go, lights plugged in. Um, let's get this thing turned on. Boom! That's a bright light right there. Uh, but now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this light. Um, we're probably gonna put the basking area um, in this corner right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to flip this onto the tank. Just move this over. This over. And oh no, man. We got a tight fit right here. Like that, you little lights on there. Perfect. Next thing we're gonna want to do is I'm gonna remove this sponge filter here. Um, it's not needed. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and probably put that into a different tank. Uh, for now, um, I'm not sure what tank exactly we're gonna put it in, but just gonna put it in another tank to get it um, cycled, keep it cycled. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the sponge filter here for now. Pop it off. Jeez, there goes that. Of course. But man, that thing is a bright bulb. Can't lie, that's for sure. So there we go, we got that in there. Next thing I'm gonna go ahead and add is the heater. So let's get that heater in here and get this thing starting to heat up. It's not a very big heater, that is for sure though. It's a very small, I think 50 watt heater. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that probably in this corner. Um, it don't matter exactly really where it goes. Honestly, I'm not gonna put it in there for now yet. I'm just wanna get everything else in there. Next thing is the filter. This filter is just going to go in this corner over here. Back side of the tank. Perfect. That filter will sit right there. This rock will sit in here. I'm not sure. Okay, just a little bit above water level. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go ahead and fill this tank up a, lo a little bit more and actually go figure out a brick or something I can um, higher up the basking area. So I'm going to go ahead and be right back. All right, we are back here. We have two bricks right here. I'm going to lay down these foam little things on the glass so that something doesn't shatter and go all over the place, which would not be a good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. I'm going to go ahead and place these little pieces of media or you know whatever go ahead and grab a brick place like that perfect now I have them exactly how I want it place it in there that's perfect just like this place on the other brick and then place this on top it's not going to work. Perfect. That should work absolutely perfect. Now I just need to go ahead and get like a bucket of some sort. Fill it up. But I mean it should be pretty well perfect on there. We can get this this light on top. Kind of get it this thing heated up real well. Um, I'm going to move this light over a little bit to get it better on the basking area. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go get a bucket and fill up just how the level I need it to be. And I'll be set to go. There we go, we got some water right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pour this in there as best as I can without spilling it. That should be a perfect amount of water level in there. There we go, everything's pretty much well done. Everything's pretty much all done I need. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take out this extra brick. Take that out right here, move that to the side. But everything's pretty much well in there. Um, the basking area is going up. The filter's pretty well all done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this heater in here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna add it. Probably just add this thing right here to the side. Uh, it's probably gonna be my best um, pick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this strung up how I need it to be. Just like them. Um, but everything's in there. I mean, the heater's in there. Everything's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the heater and we'll be set to go. Perfect. We have the heater plugged in now. You can see the heater is plugged in. Everything's good, the basking area, filters running. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some filter media for that though. I'm just gonna go ahead up and into this 55 gallon tank, right above it actually, and get a grab out a sponge out of here so I could have a pre-cycled thing already. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this little sponge out right here. Get all the water off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it down in here and just put it right in back in the filter. So it has pre, it has biological media in it already, so it's set to go for anything that would already go in here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use my little thermometer gun here. Take temp. We got 81 degrees. We're going to take the temperature of the water that they're currently in. We got 73, so we have a big difference right now. I'm going to go run upstairs here, get some ice cubes, and kind of get them, kind of get um, not All right, here I have some ice cubes in here. I'm just going to go ahead and plop all these in. Perfect, plop those ice cubes in. One more, and I think I'll lower the temperature a little bit for them as well. In here, I just want to let all the, the ice cubes evaporate, or you know, get like that, and then they should be perfectly ready for the fish. I already added the dechlorinator in there, added everything that they need, um, and they'll be ready to go into their new tank. All right, it is now the time to put the turtles in, guys. Um, I can't lie, I only hold, held the turtle a couple times, so I'm gonna put them in there, hopefully, they don't try to bite me, but 
Ah, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick this first guy up here first. Here is the first turtle. Look at it. Oh, he has sharp claws. Oh, gosh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. This thing's a sharp claws. Oh, boy. And there is the next turtle. Don't do it to me. Be nice. Oh, these have sharp claws. Oh, dude. Here he is. He's not. Oh, him sharp claws. Jeez. Put him right there. Jeez. That thing has sharp claws. I'm telling you. Holy moly. Let me put him inside the water. So we know. There we go. Done. Man, I cannot lie. That was some sharp dang claws. So the turtles are in. I'm going to go ahead and get my hands washed. So I don't get coronavirus or whatever it is. Alright, I wash my hands now. Turtles are in there. They look like they're doing good. Um, they're going to kind of relax for the rest of the night. Um, but everything's pretty much done. By the way, this is only a quarantine. Like, like Not even a quarantine. This is only a, a temporarily thing. These turtles need at least a 55 to 75 gallon tank. Right now they're only in this 29 for now. Because I have no, literally nowhere else to put any of these turtles. So I put them in here for now. And I'm actually looking or looking around trying to get a 55 for up on my stand over there. Uh, but I don't have it now. So I need to move some tanks around, move some fish around, things like that. And these eventually will be in a 55. A much bigger tank, much more room to move. Move around things. But for now, that's what I have. To, that's what I have. But now they look like they're doing well. Um, I'll give you guys some updates and some future videos. Um, and that's going to be everything for all the turtles. But that's going to be everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you also kept turtles in the comment section below. Um, but we saved these guys. We rescued them. So now they have a home. A good forever home. And eventually they'll be going on 55. As Make sure you like and subscribe. All those good things. Share it out. Uh, all those good things. I appreciate all of you guys for watching today's video. And I will catch you on my next Tuesday, 2 Minute Thursday, or my next Thursday, Friday. Every Tuesday and Thursday uploads. Go check it out, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.